I cannot hold my excitement in anymore. I just, I'm just going to get right to it. Okay. I built the most badass Photoshop plugin and I am so proud of it. I literally shed a tear when I tried out the first build of it. Okay. So let me explain. You guys remember Stylebender? It was cool. A lot of you really loved it. And it was, it was a template for Photoshop that allowed you to take your artwork and completely transform it using smart objects. But there was a problem with that. There were so many people, so many of you that had trouble using it because the nature of a smart object is you actually have to know what a smart, smart object does, which means that you have to have a certain level of Photoshop knowledge, right? And that, that didn't sit right with me. I wanted to make something that was much more user friendly. And quite frankly, I wanted to completely, you know, re-engineer or reverse engineer Stylebender. I wanted to take what people loved about it and improve upon that. And I think I've done that here, guys. So I want to introduce to you guys Styleforge. Styleforge is a brand new Photoshop plugin that allows you to transform your designs and streamline your workflow with one plugin. And I'm gonna demo how it works, but first let's go to my website and I'll show you guys how to find it. So on my website, charliepings.com, you guys can scroll down and you'll see Styleforge. And this is kind of like all work in progress. I'm still, you know, by the time you guys go to the website, it might look a little different, but um, we also have a Styleforge slider here. So if you look at the before and after, you can see the difference already there. So Styleforge is gonna give you the ability to not only color grade, like do light color grading, but also add texture for light and dark backgrounds and even apply a halftone pattern and all that good stuff. So it's it's really doing a lot within one plugin. And um, you guys can also check out the other you know stuff that I got going on. When you download Styleforge, you're going to have a zip folder that you're going to obviously unzip and you're gonna see two separate files. You're gonna see the license agreement, please read that. And also you're gonna see the app itself, the plugin itself. So all you have to do is click on that plugin twice and it's going to open it in Photoshop automatically for you. So this is what my plugin looks like right now open and we can actually click and drag that to the right side and actually put it on the sidebar here. And as you can see, it has my logo so you know where to find it. And it says Styleforge, it has its own UI. It's really cool. And if you don't see plugins, you just go to the top and you can uh, go to the plugins panel there. But your your plugin is going to say activate license key. So that's where you want to put your emailed license key in and then you click activate. Now, if it's not the accurate or correct license key, it's going to ask you for a new license key or it's going to say not correct. Um, also, you cannot share this license key with anybody. There is a limit um, per user. So if a user shares their license key, let's say more than a few times, it's going to actually deactivate their license key automatically. So please do not share your license key, okay? I have a bunch of designs here that we're gonna test. Now, Styleforge is made to basically streamline your workflow, okay? So we can check texture and then we can change the texture size. Let's go about maybe 42 for now. And we can even add a posturize effect directly from this plugin. And then we can add a color grade. I'm gonna put none for now. And grain size, we can keep it at large. Halftone scale, we'll keep it at 19%. Everything else we'll keep as is. And then click apply. Now the cool thing about this plugin is it's going to update automatically in real time. So as you can see, it already applied the effect. By default, the invert texture is not going to be checked, okay? So you will need to check that if you're on a light color background and that will invert the texture. It's simple, so it works with a light color background. It's uh, really straightforward, and this is where you can make further adjustments. Like if you want to change the texture size, you can go up to, let's say, 60%, and I am working on more textures to include, but for now, it's just one plastisol texture. You wanna keep the texture size fairly large, so I would keep it around 60 to 100%, depending on your taste. Um, I'll go 66%, why not? And again, I have inverted texture and then posturize, we can change that and it's gonna update that in real time as well. It will give you a completely different look. Now, the cool thing I like about this plugin is we can choose a color grade. Let's just select cool for now. Let's say you don't like the intensity of the color grade. You can take the opacity down of the color grade and that will kind of, you know, make it a little more subtle. And of course you can select none again, or we can go warm. Let's try that out. And we'll go hundred percent on the opacity just to show you what that looks like. And you can also change the grain size. So let's zoom in real quick and you'll see what this does. So let's choose small for now. And as you can see, it updated in real time and we'll go large, very subtle, but it's there. It just gives you the options. And then we can even change the halftone scale. Let's make it super large just to show you what it's doing here. Yeah, you can see the dot pattern. 
Let's go smaller. Let's go about 30%, which is what I like, to be honest. And then we could even mess with the shadows and highlights. So let's say your design, you know, maybe the shadows are being crunched a bunch. We can take the shadows up a little bit. Check this out. And that's obviously extreme, right? Let's bring that back down to, let's say, now let's say the highlights is coming on a little too strong. We can increase this number and that will actually take your highlights and, you know, bring them down a little bit. And there you go. So there's a bunch of customization here. Actually, let's go 100% on highlights. And there you go. That looks so much better. Now let's take the color grade off because I actually don't want the color grade. And then let's go ahead and add a black and white color to this. So we're just gonna toggle this on and it's actually going to give it more of a threshold look, which is one of my favorite things about this plugin. So automatically it's applying that threshold look that we all love um, with the grain. So you're basically able to do this in real time and save a lot of time because now you don't have to set up all the layers. Now, the cool thing about this plugin is you don't lose the smart object functionality. So if you want to, you can still enter the smart object by clicking on the thumbnail twice and that will open up this file and you can make further adjustments if you want to. I'm not going to right now, but you know, the options are there if you wanna toggle anything off or change anything, but you really don't have to since everything's within the UI of this Styleforge uh, panel here. So let's go ahead and close that. We're gonna to go to the next example and apply Styleforge to this as well. And we can make some adjustments if needed. And let's see what this looks like. Okay, great. We're gonna take the shadows all the way down. That actually looks really cool. And you know what, let's take black and white off real quick and see what that looks like. So for this art, I'm actually gonna take posturize to about 4% or four, not 4%. And you're gonna see it adds the color back. Let's go five maybe and see what that does. And let's go ahead and take the highlights down. That's way too, too much. Let's see what happens. With the small amount of changes I just made, I was able to really get those highlights to roll off nicely. And that texture just looks super nice. And we can turn it off if we want to, of course but I really like it with it. And the cool thing about this is if we want to, we can stack a color or hue and saturation adjustment above and brighten up everything or like add more saturation. So we could do something like this and really bring that saturation back. And you can even throw a color balance adjustment on top of this and make further adjustments that way. So really it's completely up to you. The plugin is made to work with your workflow, not take over your workflow, meaning limit what you can do. Now we're on example three. And this is a dark color background. Let's go ahead and apply it. And it's probably gonna look a little weird at first, but we'll make some adjustments to fix it. So now we have the uh, style forge applied. Let's go ahead and uncheck invert texture and check this out. As you can see, it already works just like that. And let's take posturize down to like three. Why not see what that does way better. And let's take those highlights to the right a little bit more, maybe 80%. Let's try that out. This is so cool. So it's already done, see? And let's turn the texture off for a second and zoom in and see what it's doing. Look how sharp this is. It's insane. This makes Style Bender look amateur in my opinion because it, that was like so basic, right? This gives you so much more control over your design and um, texture and everything like that. I'm stoked about it. I mean, I literally shed a tear when I first tried this out because I just, I was so proud of it, you know, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. I really do. So this one is actually a paid client that was already approved and wow, <laughs> that's actually insane. <laughs> Whoa. I'm, I can cry. I'm so proud of this plugin, man. I really am. There you go. And let's uh, do the last one real quick just to see what it does. This one's kind of crazy. There's a lot going on. It made light work of it. It's light work easy. If you're trying to stay away from the, the typical look that everybody applies, which is that threshold and grain, then I think style forge is the way to go. And you can pick it up right now on my website at charliepangas.com. I'll give you guys a discount code in the description below. So you guys can visit that link and use the discount code. I don't know what the discount code is going to be at the time of filming this, but it's going to be in the description. Before I go, when you guys buy Styleforge, there's going to be a support email. If there's anything that you notice at all, if there's anything you want me to improve upon, let me know because I'm going to be listening to your feedback to improve this plugin even further. My name is Charlie Pangas. I'll catch you in the next one.